Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun with me, Fu, and oh, I am so done with Crossbone Isle because I realized that I didn't actually save, or at least it didn't keep the save after I had gotten down to this last level. I just had to play through that whole, <laughs> the whole descent. Oh god. Um... Only took me like half an hour though, so no big deal. Anyway, we're at the bottom of Crossbone Isle, finally! Finally! That only took like, what, three videos? And we'll get to see what's awaiting us. Next time on- no. <laughs> right now. Right now. Oh. My god. What the heck is this? This is the time when we save. So... Because we know shit's about to get real. This is the time that we set our gin. Because we know shit's about to get real. <laughs> um, yeah, that looks good. Let me just give me one second. I'm gonna just very quickly set a couple of these guys. Because I mean, we're at the bottom. We're at the bottom of a dungeon. Everybody knows what exactly what that'll be. So just gonna take one second. Like that does lower our health substantially, but it'll give us the early advantage, which is what really matters, you know? Looks like we can't go that way. But we can go this way. I forgot about how uh decrepit looking this ship actually was. Oh my god. I actually forgot that he showed up up here. This is Deadbeard. This is the strongest enemy in the game, even more even stronger than the final boss, who well, we'll find out who that is in a few episodes. Look, he's so big. He, he can, you can't even see his head right now. And this is some of the Oh, this is the best music in the game, too. And it's just for him, that's the the best. Oh, this guy, this guy is so worth the trek down Crossbone Isle. Like, he's an undead pirate who has an entire island just to himself. He has ten floor or nine floors of people just being like, yeah. We're just sitting here guarding treasure. And then at the bottom, he's just floating on his decrepit boat on a radioactive lake, being like yeah, I'm a huge knight who's also a pirate. What of it? Look at how awesome he I look. I'm just a red skeleton, not even a white skeleton. That's how cool I am. Oh, man. And he's tough. Oh, my God, he's tough. I don't even know if we're ready to take him on. I'm hoping we are, because he's got, like... I think he's got, like, over 5,000 HP. I think. I'm not entirely sure. But... The way that I chose the Jin certainly shall help, because we will be able to stall him quite a bit, like the flash that I used. That's the reason he's only doing 13 damage right now. Uh, this little guy right here, Granite, also gonna be a hell of a lot of health. I mean, I didn't really show my, um, my normal... The, the, the way I normally go about go, um, fighting enemies with Jin earlier on, because I kind of wanted to save it for this, but basically what you do is just stall while everybody gets their huge summons out and gets uh, Jin back up. So, actually, I probably shouldn't have used Synergy against him. I should have probably used... Ah, uh, uh, that, that was a risk. I didn't think it was going to work, but... That's the good thing about bosses in this game as well. They can t they can go fall asleep just as easily. But yeah, look, like, that glacier did nothing. This meteor is not going to do much either. Like, let's see. That did more than I thought it was. That's good. But yeah, look, he's got, he's got stuff that we only just got access to, and he's just throwing it at us, so. We best be uh, careful, you know? Alright, now this is going to be hard. Um, I'm going to use ground, but that'll only hold him for one of his two turns. And Corona's actually might be the more useful approach in this case, just because 
Well, it's going to keep us alive one more turn. Um, I'm going to go with Luff. Seal his synergy. That'll, that'll, that might help us out. And, you know, restore some HP, because he's doing a number on us, even though we've... We've kind of been stalling him. <laughs> like, that is how powerful this guy is. Like, he's still going to do a bunch of damage to us, even though we took away one of his turns and we sealed his synergy. Just, just wait. Watch. Don't disappoint me, Deadbeard. See, 100 damage with, with one hit. And we already had increased our defense. We are screwed if we don't get another round of summons out on him. So let's get that out as soon as we can. I'm going to use Bane, because that'll help bring him down as well. Bring down his defense a little bit. And you know what? You can you can start getting ready to th uh, use Tujin next turn. Uh, Isaac. Alright, who do we want to throw at him as well? Gonna go with Sleep. Uh, drop his attack. That will that might help us out in the long run. Um, especially as powerful as he is right now, if we can drop his attack, that'll do a lot. But no! At least get his defense down. Come on, come on. Oh, no, no, no. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. The last person we want to lose is Mia, so... Um... Alright, you, Mr. Isaac, are going to go for Hope Cure, because I think you are the second fastest person in this equation. Um, go with, go try to wrap him in Delusion, Garrett, because that might help us out a bit. Ah, and you've got, you've got two attacks this time, Isaac. How, you are two summons away from, from that, so... Ooh, wait, you know what? Actually, go with Zephyr to make sure that Gar uh, that Isaac will be able to, um... Will be able to use his, uh... His healing right away. And... Let's see. Um, I'm gonna try for Hail. Try to lower his defense. Oh, crap! Oh my god, sorry about that, guys. I actually hit something on my controller that sped up the speed of the game. Whoops. Well, I guess it, it's comedic that I was using Zephyr, which increases our agility. <laughs> Alright, so that didn't actually help um, Isaac, but you know what? He's getting the potent cure off. That's I can't ask for more, you know? Because that is going to keep Mia from dying, which is what I'm really worried about right now. Oh my god! He took three damage from Squall. That is unacceptable. Oh god. Okay, Ivan, first thing you're doing is you're summoning Thor. I don't care, you're summoning Thor. Um, Vine, Vine. We need to lower his agility because he's going too fast right now. You get Meteor out there. You get Thor out there, and Mia, let's see what we can do with you. Um, get a Fizz going on Isaac. How about that? Oh, God. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but that was still pretty bad. Ivan's looking pretty bad right now. See, this is the this is the trade-off of using summons and versus synergy. Like, our synergy will not do a terrible amount of damage right now but our summons will, but by using the summons, we're opening up ourselves up to attack. Making ourselves very vulnerable. Uh, hopefully we're, we're whittling him down, though. Man, I wish this was like Paper Mario and we had like a tattle feature. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting like every attack to like kill him now. Oh no, that's that's Ivan down, but he got Thor off. That, thank you. You got Thor off. That's, that's better than... That's better than we could have hoped. Alright, I'm going to tell him to summon Judgment, because I don't remember if... Yes, he does. Yet, yeah. oh, Thank you. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you. Because we need to get those summons out. Like, we need to get the let out on this guy. That is our... That is one of our first downs. I, I think we've had one down earlier in this series, but... I think that's the second down that we've ever had in this series. And we got him. Unfortunately, I don't, and Ivan doesn't get any of that experience. 
So everybody's gonna... Oh no, I, I guess me is not gonna level up. Ah, uh, Ivan, you just missed out. Jeez. Oh, we got enough water of life. <laughs> Might as well use it. Oh man. Alright, so let's check this chest down here, because I don't... See, I thought he w when I went up down here, he was going to be up here and be l I was going to be like, Oh my god! I was going to be like a Ganon sort of thing, and he was going to fall through the floor and bring us down into the belly of the... Oh, it's a Mimic! Thank you! Thank you, that's just what I need right now. Oh man, I forgot that there... <laughs> the only other Mimic that I forget about. <laughs> ah, whatever. Just flash him. <laughs> yeah, just flash him. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we get it. We had to find out about it anyway, so... I'm not gonna leave a chest. Although, I mean, on my second way down through here, I left a many a chest. That we kind of tossed anyway on the earlier playthrough, so... Anyway. <laughs> but we can't leave this chest. Man. Now I feel like we're doing so little damage with only 141 damage, but that that's not actually that bad against a Mimic. Like, this is about what we should be doing, but look at that! 370 damage using Boreas against the Mimic, where it would have done like a thousand damage versus Deadbeard. Oh, I'm so glad that he's got the high, uh, vulnerabilities against elements, otherwise... Eh, I don't know. Would have been more screwed than we were. Oh man, but we, we, oh, that actually went better than I thought it would. You know what that means? We just beat, well, I just beat, I just beat the most powerful enemy in this game. Again, even more powerful than the final boss. That's not a spoiler or anything. Well, it is a kind of a spoiler, but, <laughs> no, the, that, that's not a spoiler. I mean, the final boss is supposed to be the strongest enemy in the game. However, not this time. Deadbeard is. <laughs> and we just beat him. We took him out. A little bit of a problem. We had on one one knockout. But pretty much did it fine. So we are ready for the end of the game. We are ready. Now let's see what we get. What goodies? Ah, the demon mail. Aha. That's where it is. I was wondering when we were gonna get the last piece of uh Garrett's armor. Can we, um... Ooh, that's a good question. Asura's armor versus Dragon Scales. Now, what do Dragon Scales do? They just up defense and resistance. What does Asura's armor do? Attack, defense, and HP recovery. I'm not going to lose... No, I'm not going to lose out on, um... The benefits of... The fire and mercury, or the Mars and mercury resistance benefits just for attack and health recovery. Especially such a low health recovery. Anyway, Demon Mail is yet another cursed item. Oh, it drops wind resistance, I forgot about that. But I mean, it is the most powerful armor in the game. I mean, look at, look at, it's a good eight points above what Isaac has right now. And, I mean, come on. Come on, who do you... Okay, who do you really think we're fighting for the for the end of the game? I bet we're gonna fight Kraden. <laughs> no, we're fighting Mar Mars peoples. We're fighting Mars uh, adepts. So I mean, Mercury's not gonna help us out that much. Jeez. <laughs> oh, last retreat of the game. This is it? After this, we're just. Oh wait, no, maybe not last. Yeah, because we gotta get back to Suhala Desert. And we're just gonna use Retreat once we get back there. Aha, there it is. You know, blinking in and out of existence again, because... <laughs> Frame skip. Oh no, it puts us back here. Okay, well... That is it for this episode. I know it's a bit of a short episode. Oh wait, no, it's actually a normal length episode of 15 minutes about... Wow. I've gotten spoiled during this series. Anyway, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio Fu, and I will join you, or you will join me, because you will be the one starting the video, at the top of Venus Lighthouse, where we will end the game. <laughs> I'm serious, we're gonna end the game 
in this recording session. It's crazy. I know. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time for the finale or finales. I don't know how I'm going to break it up yet. Of Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio X Fu. Take it easy. Whew. Oh, I forgot we could do that! Oh, I forgot we had an arrange button! That would have been so useful! Oh well. <laughs>